Alright, again, welcome to the Raised in Baseball YouTube channel. I'm Brian Carson. I'm Tanner Carson. And today we are going to be talking about the whoop. Oof, put those guns away. Put those guns away. Whoop! Look at them guns. Look at them guns. Alright, but listen here. So, technology is on the, the forefront of sports, specifically in baseball. Um, you know, you have everything from the K-Motion, the K-Vest, uh, you've got Flight Scope, you've got so many like things. Tan. Tan lines. Uh, but this is one of the more easy to use and uh, easy to, to, to read uh, pieces of tech that we have. <coughs> Excuse me. It is called the WHOOP. It is W-H-O-O-P. WHOOP. Uh, what's great about it is you've got it connected with your cell phone here and you can go in and say yesterday for example I know you won't be able to read it but I'll read it for you it's all the information that's coming off of this device here you can put it on your bicep, you can put it on your wrist we choose to put it on the bicep I've heard uh, from different people that it's most accurate on the bicep uh, you don't have to worry about your batting gloves or your fielding glove or throwing with it or the umpire saying take that off if it's on your bicep because they're not going to really see it. Um, so that's why we choose to put it on the bicep. It is waterproof. Um, it always is Always on. Always on. You sleep with it, you shower with it, you swim with it. Um, haven't had any issues with it. But let's talk about uh, what it did for us yesterday. Uh, first off, it tells you about your previous day's sleep. I can see that Tanner went to bed kind of late last night or the night before at 9.42 for a school night that's rather late. 9.42 and got up at 7.15 which is pretty standard for Tanner uh, as far as getting up. So maybe got about an hour's less of rest than he typically would. Um, I can also tell you by tapping on the sleep I can tell you the amount of time that he had in bed which was 9 hours and 32 minutes of which time he had nine disturbances, which means he kind of got jostled or wake, uh, woken up uh, during that time. His sleep efficiency was high at 94%. Uh, all stages of sleep, he had nine hours and 32 minutes of sleep. Uh, in bed was pretty efficient. Uh, it'll show you if you tap on awake, which is if you were moving, um, your heart rate goes up to a certain level, it just senses that you're, you're, you're awake. And it tells you specifically the time that they woke up, how much time did they actually spend awake in bed. For him, uh, yesterday it was 37 minutes. Was it? Light sleep, and again it highlights it. He had light sleep for 3 hours and 31 minutes. REM sleep, which is typically your dream state, right? Um, helps with the brain function, restorative uh, brain function. Uh, if you're stressed out, uh, that's where your brain kind of lets go of things or imagines things and, and it, it does a lot of good things for your brain is REM sleep. And then you move on to the uh, SWS or the deep sleep and deep sleep is most restorative for your muscles. So if you're trying to regrow tissue, if you've had a big workout and you need to restore your, your muscle tissue, uh, restore your muscles um, and, and get recovery, that's where you really want to see those numbers really spike. and for this day, he had two hours and 36 minutes of uh, deep sleep. Again, two hours and 48 minutes of REM sleep. So that's where we go with the rest and recovery. It will tell you um, based on what you're trying to do. Uh, it'll tell you when to go to sleep. It'll tell you how many hours of sleep you need based on how much strain you put on your body. Now let's get to the strain part. For this day, Tanner had 17 0.7 strain out of 21, I believe, is the highest the strain will go. Um, his activities would be, uh, looks like, baseball, and that was a strain of 11.8, and then his weightlifting uh, was 15.3. And that's just for that time period. I know for there's going to be people right, in that. For that specific time period, right? So during that time, how much strain did you put on your body during that exercise? There's going to be a bunch of people in the comments saying, that doesn't matter. Right, right, right. So that's specific to that 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 workout. Time period. You could work out for 20 minutes and have a maximum strain where your heart's just freaking racing, right? That'll push that that strain level up, but your overall day strain, if that's the only thing you did, isn't going to be as high. 
Uh, it tells you the caloric burn for that day was 3,398 calories, and that's just your overview. Uh, his recovery from the night before was at 43%. It's in the yellow, which means his body is ready to have strain put on it, but not give peak performance. So if it was in the green, then I could go all out. Then you're going to be getting the best effort. So moving on, and it goes over the day strain, it says some serious cardio. This day was more strenuous than that of 92% of all days um, across all WHOOP users. Top 8%. It'll tell you the max heart rate was 194 beats per minute. The average heart rate was 94 beats per minute. And again, burning 3,398 calories. We have your recovery. Uh, it says, want a higher recovery, increasing the amount of sleep that you get each night generally leads to um, higher recovery. Uh, it tells you your heart rate variability at 64, your resting heart rate at 67, and, and your sleep 8 hours and 55 minutes of actual sleep versus time in bed. Uh, heart rate variability, it'll tell you, I better I refresh it. Uh, the recovery can often be affected by high strain. This is just a sign that your body may be still recovering. Okay, you can give your user input and says that when you woke up, the energy level, you were rested, your soreness level at the time, this is prior to the workout, was uh, none, your stress, no, your feeling sick, no, and your injured, no. So these are all things that you can enter in. Sleep performance, again, at 86%, you had 8 hours and 55 minutes of actual sleep. The required amount to peak, which will get you back into the green, where you're ready to go like high volume stress, like get after it hard, is 10 hours and 21 minutes. It says a promising trend of sleep performance was above the uh, recent average, which means he's doing better than he normally does. Yep. So, you've got that all coming from this the whoop, thing. right? Um, cool little feature here is that you can... Post. I'm sure you guys have seen that on Instagram, um, but you know you can record your activity right now. Uh, homeboy has a heart rate of. And watch this. I'm gonna get myself. Eighty-nine. Just by going like this. Eighty-nine, but it will go live. So ninety now. It's ninety-one, ninety-two. All right, you can stop doing that. Ninety-four, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, a hundred. It goes up. It's live. Kids' heart rates are higher than than adults, so you have to understand that too. Um, it takes an account of your age, and uh, right now it's it, it peaked at 116, and now it's on its way back down. So pretty cool um, how it's got these different features that you can use. The biggest thing, honestly, though, I would say um, that you can get out of it, you know, it has a strain coach. It'll say, you know, hey, if you're looking to start an activity, it'll tell you, hey, you need to work harder, you need to work harder in order to get your best benefit, work harder, or maybe work less cardio or more cardio. Um, if you're ready, um, but that's that's pretty cool. Then it has your overviews where it can talk about your your um, strain. So this is an overlay. It has your strain and your recovery. So it'll have a trend of all right, we're working hard, we're recovering, our recovery is coming up, which means we can work hard. And really, you're trying to at least stay in the yellow, um, which is anywhere between 35% uh, and 67%. Anything above 67 to 100 percent is green, and that's where you're ready to really just get after it. Mm -hmm. um, it tracks your week, and so you can see your your average for your your uh, your strain, your recovery, and your sleep. Those three things, and it gives you recommendations uh, on your performance or ideas of how you can get better or what you're doing. Uh, what else? What else? What else? You've got in the main menu a sleep coach. You've got a strain coach, uh, a sleep coach. Um, Overview. And it'll tell you, like, you know, do you want to get by, do you want to perform, or do you want to peak? And you can set your days maybe to your specific workout. Maybe I'm doing weightlifting on Monday, Thursdays, or Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and I want to peak on those days. And I'll say, all right, based on you wanting to have peak performance, you need to achieve X recovery, and this is how you do it. So it's pretty cool. Very um, cool. This one, it says you've got your weekly performance assessment where it's going to take your week in review. This specifically is for the, 8th, or the 19th through the 25th, and it'll show um, where you're at. And I know you guys can't see it, but I'm reading off of it for you, where it has like a little uh, a stream of what is optimal. And so for this, 
It says, most of these days were more intense than what your body may have been prepared for. This promotes fitness gains in the short term, but may not be sustainable in the long term. Dedicate extra time to rest while the strain level is high. Okay, so then it talks about the sleep status. The sleep status, Tanner, most days this week you slept optimally, but your sleep consistency could use improvement. Maintaining a consistent circadian rhythm requires getting to bed and waking up on a more consistent basis, which means he's probably going to bed and that varies a lot. He almost always gets up between 6.30 and 7.15. That's, that's almost money. I don't care if he goes to bed at 12 o'clock, he's going to get up at that time. Yeah. So what he needs to concentrate on is getting to bed at a consistent time. And then finally, the sleep performance. Your sleep performance compared to men ages 13 to 19 is about 14% higher than the average. Uh, deep sleep, also known as slow wave sleep, SWS, is believed to be the time when your muscles repair and grow. During this stage, the body produces 95% of your daily supply of growth hormones. Listen carefully, kids who don't like to sleep. I'm young, I've got energy. Do you want to get bigger and get stronger? They say that the biggest and best performance enhancing drug is... Sleep. Sleep. You just read it. Deep sleep, also known as slow wave sleep, SWS, is believed to be the time when your muscles repair and grow. During this stage, the body produces 95% of the daily supply of growth hormones. Sleep. Get rest. Bust your butt. But you got to understand, you have to recover and you have to get sleep. So that's what's really cool about the, uh, the Whoop. It has a ton of stuff going on. It's got uh, his overview where he talks about the strength coach, the sleep coach, the weekly performance assessment. Um, you can add your own activities when you're going in case it doesn't pick up your heart rate because typically it takes about 15 to 20 minutes of high rate uh, of heart variability for you to go like it picks up hey it's a it's an actual uh, activity, activity. activity. right uh, refer a friend you can get a free month if you refer a friend and there's strap settings and then settings in general that you can use uh, you can be a part of a group to say hey you know let's challenge each other uh, let's see what you're doing compared to what I'm doing uh, overall it's a, a great product whoop W H O O P. Whoop! Come out! There it is! Whoop! We're gonna get copyright. I know, right? <laughs> but, anyways, uh, huge benefit, like I said, it's right there on the guns. On the guns. What do you like about it? I think that. In it's your words. Really made me more. I'd say more responsible. Because I think that before I would. There would be multiple days where I would feel like, heck yeah, let's go get it. And I'd get in the gym and then all of a sudden I'd be like, why am I moving this slow? I should, I feel like I could be moving way faster. And I'd get tired a lot easier. But with this, I know that if my, if my recovery sucks and I want to do a high, high level workout, it's not going to work. I'm going to just beat myself up. So that's one of the big things for me. And responsibility wise, it's made me think more about how, what am I doing that affects my body? So if I'm, if I'm going out there having a really hard workout and then I stay up until midnight, that's not gonna work either. So I gotta really think about that stuff. I think, I think uh, too, you know, I've seen a change where, I think, you know, especially like Tristan. Tristan's my youngest son. You're like, go to bed, right? Go to bed, it's bedtime, and he'll be like, oh, I wanna stay up. I think what it helped you realize is that it's not punishment. Going to bed is not punishment. It's just a needed thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. In order to get bigger, faster, stronger, you need to recover, you need to get rest. And I think that you've you know, understood that that's part of it, man. If you can take a nap, take a nap. If you can get 45 minutes of sleep in in midday, go make it happen. But if you can't, make sure you get enough rest. If that means going to bed when the sun's out at seven o'clock and sleeping until seven o'clock and getting 12 hours of sleep, dude, good for you. Because what was that stat? 95%? 95% growth hormone. Produced during SWS sleep. During your sleep where you're not doing jack. It's very important also. Anyways, that's the spiel on the Whoop. Spiel. Uh, this is the Whoop 3.0. They've had two other versions. They've had the 1 and the 2. This is the 3. 
You are not flexing. Flexing. Unbelievable. Anyways, guys, check them out. I really, really like this tool. It's simple to use. It's simple to read. It's simple to understand. And, uh, yeah, it's not that expensive. I think right now you can get 18 months for 18 bucks per month. <clears throat> I think I just threw up in my mouth watching you do that. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, Lordy. 18 <laughs> months for 18 bucks a month. Uh, they have another scale, I think, for 12 months. It might be 20-something dollars, $25, $24. Uh, and then if you want to do a month-to-month -month deal, it's, uh, I believe, $30 a month. Uh, a dollar a day to understand your analytics on what you need to recover or how hard you need to push yourself. Uh, pretty pretty valuable information for a buck. Less than uh, a cup of coffee a day. So think about it. I understand that some kids don't have a dollar a day. That makes total sense. But if you can find a way to get a dollar a day, this is a great asset to have for any athlete. Baseball players, track stars, basketball players, football players, um, swimmers, whatever. It's a valuable, valuable information. I highly recommend Whoop. Uh, check them out. Like. Subscribe. Comment. Share. There we go. Good job. Remember. All right, guys. See ya. Later.